welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a highly requested and long anticipated video. A lot of you guys requested that I do a video on how to make a perfume last longer all day and how to smell good all day without ruining the scent of your perfume. So I'm going to share with you guys some do's and don'ts of fragrance application and I'm going to give you guys a bunch of layering tips and bunch of other tips, some of which most likely you haven't heard elsewhere. So make sure to watch until the end of the video, you guys. I'm going to also announce the winner of the Dossier Fragrance Giveaway at the end of the video. So watch until the end to find out who won. So before we get started, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow the community, grow this channel, you guys. So please take a minute to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every time I upload. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, you guys. We have a lot of fun there and I make uh, different announcements on Instagram as well. So you don't want to miss any of those things. So let's find out how to smell good all day. So you guys, I have so many tips to share with you guys. I don't know where to start. I think I'm going to start with the most obvious one and I cannot tell you guys this one enough times. Apply your fragrance on top of a fragrance-free body cream, body butter, whatever the consistency is. Make sure it's a fragrance-free body cream like this one right here, the Eucerin body cream, which is super moisturizing. Yes, it doesn't have bells and whistles. It's not fancy, but I tell you dermatologists recommend this body cream to people with very dry skin, eczema problems, name it. I actually don't have extra dry skin, but I still like using this. It's so good. It's like medicine for your skin. An amazing body cream. This has no scent. It says fragrance free right here on the on the jar here. An amazing, amazing body cream. You cannot go wrong with it. They also have the lotion version of this. Or you can use something like this. This is 100% shea butter. This doesn't have a scent. This is by L'Occitane en Provence. This body cream, as you can see, it's a very thick, it's 100% pure shea butter. It does not have a scent at all. That's another example of a fragrance free yet very nourishing, good for your skin body creams, you guys. It's gonna be very good for your skin and that's the other thing. Make sure to check the ingredients of your body creams to make sure it has really good skincare ingredients, you guys. Yes, do use unscented nourishing body creams that are good for your skin underneath like first apply that and then spray your fragrance over that which will help your fragrance last longer so yeah you guys make sure your body creams are nourishing have good skincare ingredients in them don't just buy scented body creams that's not going to do you any good when layering and now i'm coming to the other side of this coin the don't don't use cheap or even expensive scented body creams to layer your perfumes with. Here's why. You buy an expensive fragrance like this. This is Fragrance de Bois Oud Rose Intense. This is 400 some dollars, 495, like 595, I forget the price, but it's expensive. You buy a quality beauty like this. This is like the most amazing rose scent and the rose in here is very unique even though this is a rose and oud fragrance it doesn't really have that typical rose scent in it this rose in here smells very refined with the freshness in it because of all the other notes so it's a very unique scent this is a masterpiece so you buy a fragrance like this and you layer it with some kind of cheap, I don't even have anything like that to show you guys because I don't buy them. And then you layer it with some rose scented body cream, bam, the scent is ruined. So you layer it, you're thinking, oh, well, this is Oud Rose on Ton, so this has rose in it. Let me just layer it with a rose body cream. It's not that simple, you guys. And what you're doing is you're ruining 
the smell, the scent of this masterpiece. It's an insult to the performer. That's how I personally feel about it. This is not an insult to anybody who does like to do that. Each to your own, you guys. Do what you like to do with your body, with your products. It's your prerogative. But this is my channel and I'm trying to give you tips on how to properly layer fragrances and how to make them last longer without ruining your scent, right? So this is my channel and I'm giving you my advice. I'm just saying if you want to preserve the beautiful scent that is your perfume, that the performer went through all that trouble to create this unique scent, why would you take that unique, amazing rose fragrance like this and layer it with some kind of rose scented body cream thinking that'll make it last long? Even if it did last long, then it's not the same perfume. It's not the same smell that you're expecting that you're going to get. And by the way, this goes for deodorant as well. Make sure to use an unscented deodorant if you can. I know a lot of us, including me actually, I do like to use slightly scented deodorants because it just is more pleasant. But I know that there are unscented ones that are really good for your skin without aluminum and all that stuff. So if you are okay with that, it's better to use fragrances with an unscented deodorant because if you put on let's say a strong lavender scented deodorant under your armpits and you wear your beautiful rose oud fragrance here bam clash you know and then you get a different scent you can you know fragrances of the deodorants can be pretty strong it's like wearing another perfume so that's tip number two so i'm now now going into tip number two i'll get there in a minute so this is still tip, tip number one i said do use a unscented body cream to layer your fragrances with don't use a scented body cream even let's say you're thinking well i want to smell the rose in the fragrance more i want to heighten that more so there's nothing wrong with using a rose scented body cream because i want the rose to come out more that's really not that's a very simplistic way of thinking you guys that's not really how scents work fragrances work because what's in that rose cream that you're using is may not even be real rose it could be a completely artificial and it could be not even smelling like real roses or even a rose adjacent it could be mixed with other scents in it so you will be altering your fragrance when you layer your fragrance with scented body creams i understand you guys i completely understand the temptation because scented body creams are so delicious for example i mean right here this one right here very tempting it smells so divine oh my god mm, it smells delicious it smells like vanilla and citrus and you'll be tempted to layer this with your one of your citrus fragrances right but don't because then what you're getting is the bomb bomb cream scent mixed in with that expensive scent now you're smelling something really completely different and maybe slightly weird. So you guys, when I buy scented body creams like this, I only buy it to apply at nighttime when I go to bed to keep it on me and I smell great. Or when I'm not wearing perfume around the house to just be wearing a, a fragrance body cream like this. For example, this one right here is the Luxaton um, Ultra Rich Cream, which smells so divine and i wear that at night time before bed same thing here with the sol de janeiro bomb dia bright cream or the bomb bomb cream of the sol de janeiro i bought them because i love love that fragrance of the body cream but i'm only gonna wear that when i'm not wearing fragrances either around the house or at night time before bed so yeah i do have a few not a lot. I have this one and the bomb bomb cream and this for scented body creams and that's all I have. I care more about buying body creams, body oils that are really good for my skin, you guys, than buying different scented cheap creams that may dry out my skin even more. And actually some of those creams do exactly the opposite of what you want to accomplish. Instead of moisturizing you, some of them may dry you. And even if they did moisturize you, they may not have skincare ingredients in them. They may not be great for your skin and over time give you wrinkles. I don't know. I trust Luxaton, for example, an amazing brand with skincare ingredients. And I love Sol de Janeiro. I know that they put really good 
skincare ingredients in their body creams. So that's what I care more about. I don't buy scented body creams just to layer with fragrances. Also you guys, you can mix your fragrance with your unscented body cream like Eucerin for example or even the uh, shea butter that I showed you. You can uh, take your perfume and you can mix it with your unscented body cream and apply that and then spray the fragrance on top of that if you want to. Do layer your fragrance with an unscented body cream like these. Don't mix your fragrance, layer your fragrance with scented body creams, you guys, unless, of course, you don't mind completely changing your fragrance scent. If you don't mind completely not smelling the original actual scent the way it was supposed to smell like and if you don't mind it that is something you know up to you but i'm telling you if you want to smell your fragrance it is the scent that you want to last longer that's not the way to go the way to go is with an unscented and by the way you guys unscented body oils are even better than unscented body creams if you can find an unscented body oil apply that first and then apply the perfume, that would be the best way to layer it for the fragrance to last longer. Tip number two, I already kind of blurted out, you guys. Tip number two is try to use an unscented deodorant when you're wearing fragrances because there again, it will alter the scent of your beautiful fragrance because deodorants can have very strong scents. Or use a deodorant that's very mildly scented or something that's more neutral. Yeah, I know it's hard, you guys, with deodorants, you kind of want the smell, but then if you're wearing perfume, you're still gonna smell good, and all you wanna do is keep the sweat from coming out, right, and getting all icky. So tip number three, you guys, if you really want to, let's say, accentuate a certain note in a fragrance, let's say it's jasmine, could be rose, whatever have you, Let's say you have a perfume like this one, Dior Poison Girl, and this is a gorgeous white floral fragrance with a very prominent jasmine note in it. Now let's say you want to kind of accentuate the jasmine note in this fragrance, and then you're thinking about, oh, let me just layer it with a jasmine scented body cream. Don't do that. Like I said, the jasmine body cream may have jasmine, and it may be a weird smelling artificial jasmine, and plus it may have other scents in it that's not just jasmine. So you'll be completely changing the scent here. So instead of doing that, you might consider, if you really have to, my real recommendation really is you guys, unscented stuff, unscented body creams to layer perfumes with. But however, if you must, if you feel like you want to accentuate a certain note in your fragrance, Try using something like this right here. So this is the Herbivore Jasmine Body Oil, you guys. This you can buy at Sephora from Sephora. Now this one here is a basically a oil, see? It's oil consistency, and you can just, see, rub it on your arm, like I would actually do it on the pulse point here. So take your fragrance and layer it with that, you guys. and. It'll make the fragrance last longer and you will be accentuating just the jasmine, but there is pure jasmine in here. This is a high quality jasmine oil and it wouldn't be some artificial thing with other notes incorporated into it, right? Yeah, see now I'm smelling the jasmine more. However, it still altered my fragrance a little bit. It doesn't smell like pure poison, completely, purely, pun intended. Uh, yeah, so it, it slightly altered my scent, but like I said, this is only for those who actually want to accentuate one note, which knowingly you are changing the fragrance there, and you're okay with it, and you want to smell the jasmine more, sure, you can go ahead and use an oil, a pure jasmine oil or a pure rose oil, or pure coconut oil, some, whatever it is. Use a 100% organic pure type of oil that actually will help you accentuate the jasmine note in it. And this, by the way, is projecting like a beast right now because of it. 
especially that jasmine, okay? So here's another example. This is the new Kali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa with the beautiful coconut in it. And let's say you want to smell the coconut in this a little bit more. Instead of using some kind of artificial coconut scented body cream that's gonna completely ruin the scent and completely alter the original scent that you paid money for and the performer <laughs> went through trouble to create such a unique fragrance before you ruin it. Instead, you could buy something like this. This is my Kopari 100% pure coconut melt. This is 100% pure coconut oil, you guys. It's completely natural coconut oil. It comes like this little coconut melt. It's actually not an oil oil. It comes in a kind of a melt form like that. And you can take that and you can apply that on your arm and look at the oils, you guys. More than creams, the oils give the skin such a beautifully moisturized look. The beautiful, glorious skin. I mean, look at that. What body cream can do that? You know, I don't know any body cream that would give me a glow like that, like the, the pure 100% coconut oil does, right? So take that and apply it, and then apply the fragrance if you feel like you want to smell the coconut in here more. Mm, now I'm smelling that gorgeous coconut note a little bit more. At least you didn't ruin the scent, you guys. It accentuated, you know, that one note but it didn't completely ruin the scent of this beautiful masterpiece here, right? So if you must, if you want to smell one note more than the other, you can do that, but don't buy some cheap body cream or body melt or body lotion, whatever have you. If you use that kind of thing and you layer fragrance over it, you'll be altering that scent. Yes, you will smell good all day in one kind of way, but it would be more like your body cream that you smell. You spent $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, how much ever you spent on that fragrance, that's not what you're gonna smell like all day. You're gonna smell like a body cream of some sort and maybe a little hint of your fragrance. You'd be completely altering your beautiful fragrance you've paid all that money for you guys so that's a tip for those who want to accentuate maybe one note of a fragrance use a 100 percent pure oil of that note that would not completely ruin your fragrance scent and yes body oils tend to be way better than body creams in accomplishing that let's say you bought a body cream that only has the one note it's still not going to be good like an oil would be a pure 100% pure organic oil would be. So don't use a scented body cream to accentuate one type of note. So tip number four is about application, you guys. How do you apply a fragrance so that it will last longer? Well, this is how. You take a fragrance, let me take a fragrance here. I will use the Utopia Vanilla Coco again. If you want a fragrance to last, you guys, you want to spray them on your pulse points. That's one. Here's another pulse point, and another pulse point, and another. So spray them on your pulse points, you guys. By the way, you can even spray on the back of your knees, you guys. That's another pulse point. You can spray it anywhere, really, like wherever there's a, a pulse spray it on there, it's gonna project a lot more. Tip number five, don't rub your fragrance after applying. Like for example, a lot of people do this. You spray the fragrance and you go, there, you just ruined it. When you rub your wrist together like this, you guys, it breaks down the molecules in the fragrance and it's gonna change the fragrance and it's gonna take the strength away from the fragrance. See, I can barely smell it now because I did that. So do not do that. So spray the fragrance. Don't rub your hands. Just spray it and just air dry, you guys. Just go like this for a little bit. Just air dry a little bit if you feel like it's too wet or whatever. Don't ever rub your wrist together or rub your anything together. You know what I mean? It will break down the molecules and completely ruin the fragrance. Tip number six, you guys. Spray the fragrance on your clothes because fragrances always last much, 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 much longer on clothes than they do on your skin. Depending on the person's skin, de depending on your chemistry, some people's skin just 
drink up the fragrance like me my skin just drink the fragrances makeup same thing my face eats my makeup my skin drinks my fragrances some people have skin that they're usually a fragrance can last up to about five hours for me about two hours mostly and good fragrances would last like five six hours i think i'm about average but skin doesn't hold fragrances as well as clothes so when you're spraying however make sure to spray the fragrance on the inside of your clothes because if you spray it on the outside by any chance if there's a fragrance oil that stains then you've ruined your clothes try and spray it on the inside of your clothes like this and then you know that it's gonna last like in the cleavage for example just turn it over and spray on the inside of your clothes you guys so that it lasts much 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 longer fragrances usually last eight hours or longer on clothes you guys like my fragrances you guys i tell you like for example this one may not last on your skin as long maybe six hours on my skin but on my clothes when I went to put my clothes I was wearing that day to wash, it still smelled like this fragrance. And especially fragrances like this, very strong x de the Parfum fragrances, they will last on your clothes forever and ever and ever and ever until you wash and maybe even after you wash. You might have to wash a couple of times. So clothes just absorb fragrances and hold the fragrances a lot longer so that's a good tip to always wear your fragrance on your clothes but spray on the inside of your clothes right just in case tip number seven you guys always spray your fragrance on your hair you guys why because hair has follicles the hair has this way of grabbing fragrances and just holding it there any scent actually any kind of smell the hair just kind of grabs and holds it for example, have you ever cooked and had something burn or cooked something with something very fragrant in it? And the next day you're like, why am I smelling spaghetti and meat sauce? Well, because your hair absorbed that smell. Has that ever happened to you guys? It's because hair always grab onto whatever the smells that are around you guys. So use that to your advantage and spray it on your hair and it'll last actually sometimes even longer than clothes or as long as clothes. However, I must warn you, fragrances have harmful chemicals in them that are not good for your hair. It can dry your hair, it can damage your hair. So what do you do? Well, try to find a hair perfume that corresponds to that fragrance like this one right here. This is a Parfum Stimali Delina, and this is the Parfum Stimali Delina Hair Perfume. These two smell identical. You guys, honestly, like a lot of people who cannot afford this fragrance end up buying the hair perfume and just spraying it in the hair because it works just fine. And this smells basically exactly identical to Parfum Stimali Delina. Yeah, so it's the same thing. And usually, if the company is good, now you have to be careful there again. Usually, by the principle, the hair sprays are supposed to not be harmful to your hair. Again, it will depend on the, the fragrance house and the company, I guess, you guys. Again, you do this with or your own research. I would trust this brand, for example. They tend to put just the oils in the fragrances and keep the chemicals to a minimum or not at all the hair perfumes would be less harmful than the actual spraying the actual perfume on your hair you guys so that's something you guys do and here's another example this is woman in gold killian and this is the woman in gold hair perfume that i bought because i love this fragrance so much that i wanted to buy the hair perfume so it can project like a beast you know what i mean so yeah this one i get so many compliments on you guys really this this works and it's the exact identical scent as the actual perfume and without the harmful chemicals for your hair so it's made for hair so try to use the hair perfume instead of the perfume perfume on your hair if you can help it but there again you'll have to do case by case research to make sure that hair perfume is made with better ingredients than the actual perfume tip number eight you guys apply your fragrance 
as soon as you're done showering you guys so when you come out of the shower and you pat yourself dry with your towel you're still gonna have some moisture on your skin and when you have moisture on your skin and you spray your fragrance that moisture helps absorb that scent and hold that scent better so right out of the shower is the best time to apply your fragrance so that'll help even more to lock in your fragrance tip number nine you guys spray your fragrance don't mist it and walk through it you know how people like spray the perfume and they just kind of walk through the fragrance that's not gonna work actually spray the fragrance because that misting isn't going to help you very much with keeping the fragrance on your skin or clothes for very long and make sure to actually spray the fragrance on yourself on your hair and on your clothes here's another application tip you guys this actually works so after coming out of the shower with a little moisture still on your body you apply your unscented body oil preferably or body cream and then you're about to apply your fragrance there's one more thing you that might help you vaseline you guys take a little bit of vaseline and dab it on your pulse point that you're going to apply your fragrance like wherever you're going to spray it on dab a little bit and spray the fragrance on that you guys and that helps it last long as well again vaseline is unscented there's no real smell to vaseline so that's another pro tip you guys that helps a lot trust me on that okay now we're on to the more general things you can do to make sure your fragrance lasts longer for example you can pay attention to the concentration of your fragrance so you guys fragrances come in different concentrations the, the most mild or weakest being the eau de cologne which is cologne which has like the lowest concentration of oil examples of that a very popular cologne concentration brand would be Jo Malone which is why I don't own any Joe Malone fragrances, you guys. Why would I pay top dollar for a cologne, you guys, with the lowest oil concentration? It doesn't make any sense. I'm not someone who jumps on the hype train, you guys, and buy whatever is popular. I buy what makes sense and what works. And Joe Malone is not a brand that I've been particularly interested in. However, I might buy one just because of the scent, not because of the concentration. I've heard a lot about the myrrh and tonka, and there's all these ones that I've heard a lot about that the scent's actually good, but do they last long? Not from what I hear. So I might buy a Joe Malone maybe one or something someday just for the scent, because I don't have that particular scent. I wouldn't consider it worth my money, you guys, because it's a cologne. It's the lowest concentration of oil. So pay attention to the concentration of oil in the fragrance. So then comes the Eau de Toilette. We know right about Eau de Cologne is Eau de Toilette, which is a little higher in concentration. It's still below, I believe, 18% uh, oil concentration for Eau de Toilette. And then Eau de Parfum is the next one up, which is between usually 18% and 25% oil concentration and some of them like or the parfum on tons like for example Kali Utopia vanilla cocoa is 25% oil concentration which it isn't an extrait de parfum it's an eau de parfum but it's on the higher end so they're calling it eau de parfum on tons so you can get the on tons or the intense version which would be on the higher end of that concentration in the eau de parfum concentration and then comes extrait de parfum like this one here Tiziana Terenzi Tabit is an extrait de parfum concentration which is the highest oil concentration above 25 percent you guys usually about 20 to 30 percent oil concentration for example Raja Dove Raja Parfums they have a very high concentration of oil above 20% closer to 30% in some cases of the Raja Parfums for example same with this one this is Tiziana Terenzi their fragrances tend to be above 25% because they're extrait de parfum so I prefer to buy anything above eau de parfum you guys most of my fragrances with the exception of maybe a handful like two, three, not even five. Probably I have altogether four fragrances or so in my collection 
that is eau de toilette for a particular reason. For example, the perfect example would be Dior Hypnotic Poison. Eau de toilette smells better than the Eau de Parfum. So I made a compromise there and I bought the Eau de toilette only because it smells better than the Eau de Parfum because it's different in the scent. So that may be an exception. So I try to buy fragrances above the Eau de Parfum oil concentration, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum Entendre, or Extrait de Parfum. Try to buy fragrances with higher oil concentration to start with, which will help them last longer on your skin and help you smell great all day. So now I forgot what tip number this was, but my next tip is to carry around a cotton ball or cotton pad with your perfume sprayed on it in a Ziploc bag or something in your purse. If you don't have space to carry a decant or the actual perfume around, put that in your purse, use that to dab yourself to refresh your fragrance throughout the day. If you don't have space, like let's say you're not even taking a purse, all you have are your clothes on you, put that in your, I don't know, in your bra, right? And then keep the cotton balls there and use that to renew your fragrances throughout the day if you can't even carry a purse. But let's say you're carrying a purse and you can't carry a decant or the perfume itself, Carry them with you, you guys, and make sure to refresh throughout the day so you can smell good all day. My last tip to you is layering fragrances, you guys. I gotta start this by saying that I'm not big into layering actual perfumes. You got to find that perfect combination, you guys. Otherwise, you might end up ruining both fragrances that you mixed, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, the only thing that I feel more comfortable layering are the Kayali fragrances. They are actually made to layer with each other. For example, I love uh, layering the vanilla with the new Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper or vanilla with the Kayali Elixir 11. I like layering Kayali fragrances and the, the citrus one you can mix with various ones. The musk fragrance, you can mix and match them, which they are actually kind of, they kind of made it easy for you to layer. But when it comes to layering actual different fragrances, you guys, like different, different fragrances, you really have to try different combinations until you get one that is divine. So you become your own perfumer, you know, but you're actually mixing actual fragrances. It's not like you're mixing it with some body cream that has artificial different scents in it. You're mixing an actual good fragrance with another fragrance, right? So you're not any doing anything to ruin the fragrances. Rather, if you found a good combination, you're actually playing performer and you may get a fragrance combination that not even a perfumer has thought of, right? In this case, you gotta really experiment a lot and find a good fragrance combination that works so that they are both heightened instead of brought down, you know what I mean? But when you do mix fragrances, you guys, they tend to last longer. So that's it you guys, that is how I smell good all day. You guys, before the pandemic, when things were normal, I was one of the people that got a lot of compliments on my fragrance, the way I smell, because of these things that I actually do to make my fragrance last all day. And now that the pandemic is over, I'm starting to get that again. People are not wearing masks as much anymore. They're walking around a lot of the times without masks and I'm starting to get compliments again. Uh, during the pandemic, you guys, I couldn't smell anything through my mask. I don't know about people smelling people through masks. I, I don't know, you guys. I've not smelled anybody through my mask during the pandemic, you guys. I don't know, but you know, that's why I didn't do my most complimented fragrances because I didn't want to pull from, you know, the compliments I received before the pandemic, which was a while ago. I wanted the pandemic to be over and things to return to normal and for me to get out there again and start getting compliments so I can actually give you guys real life experiences and real compliments and real tips on what smells better and what fragrances get actual compliments. I will be doing that very soon, my most complimented fragrances. Stay tuned for that. So you guys, it's time to announce the winner of the dossier giveaway, you guys. So the winner will be receiving dossier Spicy Orchid inspired by Tom Ford 
black orchid you guys I am using a random name picker online to pick the winner you guys it's just so so hard to pick a winner I have done it many times before and it's always so difficult because I want to give you all a perfume you guys let's face it that's what I want to do so it's really hard to pick a winner you guys it crushes my soul every time so I've decided to utilize an online random name picker so I'm going to spin the wheel and put it up here the name of the winner so here it is you guys congratulations I am so happy for you please let me know your address so I can mail the perfume out to you DM me on Instagram or send me an email my email address is down in the description box so I can get the perfume out to you congratulations again yay so I hope you guys you found this video about how to select fragrances apply fragrances and layer fragrances to smell great all day and have your fragrance last all day very helpful so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you guys so that we can grow this community so I can grow this community and do more videos so please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already ring that notification bell so YouTube will notify you every time I upload and don't forget to follow me on Instagram you guys we have a lot of fun there I will see you guys in my next video